Hey guys, what's up? It's Kirsty. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are subscribed, I just want to say thank you. If you're not subscribed, come on over here, get to know me. You're going to have a great time. Let's get right into this video. If you're wondering why I've got a towel on my head, that's because I just washed my hair, um, like a quick wash. And I'm about to give myself a haircut. I usually always cut my hair once a year. Um, prior to this method for me, I was cutting it maybe twice a year um, or a little more often depending on how damaged my ends were. I was cutting out dyed hair, permed hair, relaxed hair, just heat damaged hair. And it took about three years to like really cut it all out. And my hair, where it's at currently, it's pretty healthy, but I had dyed my hair in 2015 or 16. I think it was 16, I dyed it red, and it was a really pretty red, but you know, after a while, I was like, okay, time to go back to my normal color, and I really just didn't even bother going to like a salon to remove the red to replace the color. I just took a black dye and put it over the red. Therefore, my ends, you know, gradually have just kind of faded and um, the color faded and now it's turned to this brownish, reddish kind of color. Um, my roots um, for maybe about four inches on out is about natural and I believe it's like the color number two, 1B2. So I'm pretty natural all the way there, but um, it's just my ends. So um, actually in December and in January, I started noticing my ends were feeling really nasty. Um, you know, well for me personally, I know when my ends are bad is if I run my fingers down the strand after putting moisturizer and things like that. If I feel, if I still feel bumps and it's like, hard and stuff sticking out and I know I just detangled my hair that's when I know I need a trim so I will usually if I need a trim because of a tiny bit of split ends I'll do a tiny little amount like that but today we are not doing that I am going to be cutting the color off of my hair because I just want to have my natural color until I figure out what I want to do in the summer right now I just want to get rid of this color and kind of get my little curl journey for 2018 going so stay tuned guys I'm out Okay guys, so here I'm just giving you guys a little clip of what my ends look like. They are a little bit dry. Um, you can't really see the split ends, but definitely I have those and they just feel really nasty, especially after I braid it and then it, you know, I'm putting on gel and stuff on the ends, I could totally feel the damage. Um, so my goal here is to cut off the color and also give myself a haircut. You know, I really have been wanting my hair short, so this is my opportunity to do it. And um, yeah, every January uh, for the last two years, I've either cut or trimmed my hair. And most of, that was mostly because I still had dye or I had bleach left. Um, you know, I had bleached hair left in. So um, the strands weren't fully healed or recovered or grown out. So I just was trimming until I felt like they were. So anyways, this year I just wanted to go ahead and get myself a cut because I've been wanting a cut this way. I'm just giving guys a little clips of what my hair um, looks like, a tiny little length check. It is past the bra strap and when I measured it, it's about 15 inches in length. So um, yep. That's the goal, is to cut the hair off that is dyed and to give myself a fresh new cut for 2018. <laughs> So after you separate your hair in half, you're going to separate it again in half so you can have four sections total. This is just what I did. I'm not a professional in any kind of way, not yet at least, um, but this is what I did to cut my hair the way that I have it now. Um, I start by detangling my hair with a Denman brush. Um, it was fully washed and semi-dry. At this point right now, it's like 85, almost 90% dry. So yeah, I'm just detangling my hair so that way I have a nice, you know, 
clean base to go ahead and start with cutting. I'm just going to take my um, shears. I purchased these at Sally's. I'm not 100% sure if they're like, you know, the fancy shears, but this is what you want to use. As you guys can see, I'm kind of hesitating on where to start because this is the first cut. So I always learned that, you know, start with less than go ahead and work your way on up. So here we go. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that first cut. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that was kind of scary. But you guys, it was so like liberating. Check out that bundle. Would you pay $100 for this? <laughs> I'm just playing. Look at my little side eye. I'm like, oh God, look at this hair. Ooh -wee. Okay, so guys, I'm just going to fast forward it to the next clip so y'all could go ahead and see me cutting the rest of my hair. I'm pretty much going to do the same thing. I'm going to detangle it. Then I'm going to get my, sis my shears into position. And I'm just going to cut each section slowly. Um, you know, until I get to the length that I want. Now, you guys, again, I'm not a professional in any type of way. You want to get your hair cut in a certain shape, tapered more on the bottom. Please go to professional unless you are, you know, a professional and can do it. You know, I recommend going to somebody because they can see the back of your head. They can see the shape of your face better than you can. So it's probably better, wiser to go to somebody. I just wanted to do it because I've been doing my hair on my own. Um, especially um, with this natural hair journey for the last like seven years so <laughs> I have no issues cutting my hair um, but you see here guys I cut my hair way shorter on this side than I did on the other side that's definitely num reason number one that you want to go to somebody because you're gonna end up cutting your hair shorter in certain spots or longer but anyways check out bundle number two I'm gonna go ahead and move the video on right here guys I just wanted to jump in here really quickly to let you guys know if you have a big section of hair, <clears throat> it's probably best to separate it in half like I'm doing here. Sometimes if the sections are too big, you're going to end up with uneven lengths in different spots. So slow and steady wins the race. Take your time, do it section by section. If you're not a professional, um, you know, you really wanna do it section by section. But check out bundle number three. Here we go, you guys. Um, I have something that I want you guys to do. If you've ever done the big chop or you're contemplating it, comment big chop down below. If you did it, like how did you feel after you did the big chop? Um, did you feel liberated? Did you feel pretty? Did you feel ugly? Did you feel like, oh my God, what did I do to myself? How am I gonna maintain this look and this length? Um, I wanna know your guys' thoughts because those are some of the things that were going through my head <laughs> when I was looking at my hair in this very moment. <laughs> I was thinking, why did I do this? But then, you know, I kinda was like, whatever. I got, I'm getting it over with. I wanted to do this because I didn't, I have never had my hair at this length, so. Yeah, here we go. This is the last one. I'm going to go ahead and separate it again like I did on the other half for the front of my hair. And I'm going to cut the section off. So again, you guys, if you guys are not professionals, try to go look for somebody who specializes in cutting curly hair, whether it's wet or dry. Um, you know, you can find somebody probably really good um, in a beauty supply store. I mean, not a beauty supply, in a beauty salon um, in your local area, I'm sure, that can cut curly hair. But yeah, don't be like me over here cutting pieces longer than the other. I will tell you guys that after I did my cut, um, I had my co-worker, Sherelle, <laughs> um, touch up my ends. Pretty much kind of like even it out for me. Um, when I got to work the next day, I had a photo shoot. So she um, pretty much just shaped up my ends and she hooked me up. But check it out. I look like a, I look like Jai. Honestly, I look like my son. I look just like him with my hair like this. I couldn't believe it. Oh, God. You guys don't even know. My heart was like, okay, girl, you did it. Let's try to make this work. Fluff it out here. Fluff it out here. I'm over here thinking, like, how am I going to make this look good? But check this out. You see that unevenness? So I went back in with the scissors, and I said, okay, we're going to just cut it here. Um, <laughs> again, you guys... I'm not claiming to be a professional. I just wanted to cut my hair and I did it. I feel good about it. 
not embarrassed but yeah I would definitely next time probably pay some bucks to go ahead and get it cut properly if I want a real cut you know a real edgy shape or something but yeah, I'm gonna make it work I'm gonna make it work I'm gonna be cute y'all gonna see we gonna see <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video for subscribing for following along thank you for liking and commenting y'all have been so cool to me we are almost at 80,000 subscribers and I'm just so happy to announce that because I couldn't have I would I did not ever think I'd get to that point but I am here and I'm so grateful for you guys who follow me so check out the final look i look all slicked down and cute yes <laughs> my curls were popping i still have some length so i could braid but um i love this cut and it fits my face so well i feel like i look mature comment down below if you like the cut comment down below if you ever did the big chop comment down below if you are a superstar <laughs> i'm out you guys Stay channeling the beauty that's within inside of you. 